Welcome to part one of my series on building a simple calculator application. I hope you like it and find it useful. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a Cocoa application and we'll push next. Once that's finished, we need to choose the location for our project and give it a name. So the next thing we want to do is locate the nib file and we're going to build out our interface. So just by double clicking on that file, it'll actually load the interface builder right there for you. And this window that I'm just moving here is what we're going to be placing our elements on. So I'm searching for a button and I'm just going to place it onto the window itself and we'll just zoom through this so I can build out all the buttons that you normally see. And the next thing we're going to do is locate the text box to display the actual numbers up top. So in order to rename that window, we will go right over here to the title box and we'll call it calc. And since we're not going to want our calculator to be resized, we can turn that control off. Now, all I want to do now is handle the alignments on the various things. So for the text box, we're going to want the numbers right aligned. And for all of the other buttons, we're going to want those probably having centered text. Next, we're going to want to speed through these and just double click on each one as we type the labels. So let's just go ahead and finish that off. And now we need to set up the controls for the math buttons so that when a user clicks on them, they don't immediately turn off. So we'll set it to push on, push off. And the last thing we need to do is push the build and go, and we just need to save all of our changes before we do it. So right now, let's building as you see in the bottom left right there. And once that's finished, the calculator will load. So as you can see, the numbers, they immediately turn off when I click them, but the mathematical ones will stay on until they're clicked again. 